A great way to grow your database and to get good quality clients is to form strategic alliances and do marketing programs with them. In this video, I'm going to share with you a five-part formula to get that done. Five. Hey there, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. And as I mentioned in this week's episode, I'm going to share with you a five-part formula for creating strategic marketing alliances. Now, before we get started, speaking of alliances, hey, give us a big alliance by giving us a like. Give us some love by leaving a comment below and share this video. Come on, move your finger over, hit that like button. You can do it. Come on. Okay, perfect. Now, five-part formula. The first thing is, what is an alliance? Well, an alliance is a business in your area that complements the services that you provide. So let's think about this for a second. In real estate, complementary services could be lending, law, accounting, uh, building, contracting, plumbers, uh, chiropractors, doctors, veterinarians. All those things complement in terms of the services that they offer that your clients would actually use. So the first thing you need to do is identify who are these businesses in your area that you can have complementary services with that share the same type of client or may even share the same clients. The next thing, part number two, is you're going to approach these businesses. And very simply, you're just going to say, hey, I got this idea that we can be promoting one another and increase our bottom line. We'll get more clients and increase our uh, revenues here. The big thing is we're not competing with one another. Our products, our services actually complement one another. So my services would be of interest to your clients and vice versa. And because because we're like-minded, we're dedicated to to the quality of service that we provide, there's a, a symmetry here that we can work together to make this happen. Now before I go any further, make sure you read the corresponding article that's associated with this video because it'll go into more detail. I'm just giving you a bit of an overview here. So make sure you read the article. So that's point number two to actually approach these uh, uh, alliance partners, if you will. The third thing is you are now going to craft an offer. Now, this offer has to be a special offer that's compelling, and it could be a discount on, um, let's take a look at a chiropractor. Maybe it's a free adjustment to a veterinarian. Maybe it's a free, uh, I was going to say flu shot, but maybe it's a free rabies shot, whatever that is. But it has to be a compelling offer that you can share with your members, and then you have to come up with one that they can share with their clients. The thing is, you have to give a reason why. Why are you putting this offer together? Well, it's a special limited offer because of this partnership. You can come up with a reason. But when you give a reason why, it makes your offer more credible. The other thing you have to do is make sure that it's a limited time offer and that it can't be available anywhere else. It's got to be special to your group and to your uh, alliance partner that you're partnering with. Point number four is now actually getting that offer out there. Now, if you're going to be doing direct mail, then obviously you'll put it together in a letter and you'll send that out. You can also be doing this via social media. So instead of writing it out, and you're going to split the costs obviously with uh, stamps and postage and everything else, but your job will be to put together the marketing material. But if you're going to leverage social media, you could be doing little videos like I'm doing right now, doing exactly the same thing, introducing that alliance partner and coming up with that special offer to your people and vice versa. They would then put that video on their website. You would put your video on your website in exchange, and now you're introducing one another to your respective databases online and to your social media base. And at relative no cost whatsoever. Now the next thing is here, once we've crafted that offer, we need some method to track it. So when you send it out, you want to make sure that there's maybe a postcard or a coupon code or something that they can show to you or to your alliance partner that recognizes the fact that they've received this special offer. Coupon codes are really cool, so is some kind of certificate that they can show you. And the last part here, and this is crucial, number five, is you want to make sure that you've gathered these names now and you've put them into a database. Some of them may be ready to do business with you now, but many will not. But you've already made that introduction. They know who you are now. So it's critical. Put them in a database, Make sure you follow up on your promise, keep the promise that you made in that offer, deliver high quality value, and stay in touch. You've now made a contact, you've given them something, you now earn the right to ask for something in return, which is the ability to stay in touch. So here's a five-part formula that works brilliantly. You can do it via print or you can do it via social media, as I said, using video. Michael Creasy here, executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Once again, give us a big like and comment.
comment below how this could work for you, or maybe you're doing something already with Alliance Partners. I look forward to your feedback.